here in my nice warm shop today working on guitars and getting ready to uh, put the template back on the beetle kill pine telecaster so i can uh, do the neck pockets and uh, probably do the same to the stratocaster today uh, but when i say it's nice and warm in the shop it's cold windy and i don't know if you can see that but it's uh, slightly snowing outside so uh, first snow of the year here in iowa i hate this i used to love snow but the older i get the more i hate it so anyway guys here's a uh, sneak peek of the top when it's dry on this uh the lester here uh it's gonna look awesome this thing is just gonna be a phenomenal looking guitar all right guys so i'm here at the pin router today and what i'm going to do is got the beetle kill pine uh tele style guitar here i call a commander and we're going to route the neck pocket so i'm going to get set up here and i'm going to put you on a time lapse and you'll see how i do this if you haven't seen it before uh this is a pretty rewarding job and uh, i enjoy doing it um this body is really cool i don't know if anybody's ever noticed this but that is here let me move it up here so you can see it that is an indian arrowhead hole that is in there that uh, was found and uh it's just got and you can't see it right now either because the template's on there but there's some cool patina on the back knots and stuff but uh neat piece of pieces of wood here so i'm gonna get you set up on a time lapse and get you going Well, I thought I was recording and uh, had a, thought I had you on time lapse and I went through the whole process of uh, cutting the neck pocket. I got it set to one inch depth where I want it and it didn't record. So uh, that's the breaks of uh, stupid technology, I guess, you know, but uh, Hey, it happens, and uh, this Beetle Kill Pine machines beautifully. All I'll have to do is take a uh, uh, sander to right here, and that will knock that off of there. Uh, so now comes the time to where I'm going to take this, which is uh, the standard Telecaster style template, put it on here, and do the pickup routes do the control cavity route and uh, have that part of the game done so uh, I guess I will bring you along for the ride for that and so we will make that part of this video instead of what we were gonna do all right so I'm gonna do this without a template for the most part uh, first thing I'm gonna do is Take my Mr. Mechanical pencil here and mark where I want to drill with my Forster bit. This is a quite a bit thinner template than uh what will work with my pin router i need to get another one of these half inch uh diameter bushings and take it uh and turn it down to where it's a little bit lower than the thickness of this but that kind of scares me at the same time because this is so thin this is just a piece of masonite um great template though because it has you know all your measurements and stuff on here as to uh where you you need to put things and whatever so now let me finish this part here all right so we want to get as much of these areas drilled out as possible now i'm going to start with the pickup holes uh, which I like to do, oh, around one inch deep. Uh, that way you've got a little room to play with with your magnets and, you know, different pickups and whatever. Uh, 
gives you a, a little playroom there. So what I will do is I've got the Forstner bit set up in the drill press over here and I will bring you over and we will do that. So, got the uh, control cavity roughed out, got the pickup holes roughed out, and now I will uh, start this. I'm actually going to do mostly with a chisel, and probably this one too. This one I may have to route out because there's more meat left here. Uh, one uh, one other thing you could do would be take a uh, you know, like a 1 16th drill bit and go across there if you didn't have, uh, you know, the proper routing tools or whatever. So, uh, anyway, there's all kinds of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to call this part a video and, uh, uh, move to the next part, which will be, uh, cutting these and, uh, thanks for watching guys. It's been fun on this cold, snowy, uh, windy winter, early winter day here in Iowa. So have a great day. Talk to you later.